Welcome along guys. Well, there's something a little bit different this time. Well, actually, no, not that different. We're still on the naked. We're still on the lovely little naked. But this time we're in the middleweight class. This is the Suzuki GSX-S 750. Key things about this bike, first of all, <laughs> the suspension is a little bit budget. No, I'm joking. First, key things about this bike is, first of all, the price. This is £7,700. This is a cheap entry level naked. The second great thing about this bike is it's got the 2005 GSXR 750 engine at its heart. That was a stonking bike. Bloody hell, that is faster than I thought it was going to be. It's slightly detuned for a bit more bottom end, but this has still got that top end howl of the old 750s. The reason they went for the 2005 GSXR engine and not a more later version is because of the way the engine sits in the frame, it sits more vertically than the newer engines. The newer engines are, are cantered forward more, which didn't really suit the weight distribution for the bike and where they wanted the, the trail of the yokes to be. So the 2005 version sits more upright in the frame. So that's what they've gone for. My initial thoughts on it is it's comfortable. It is quite small. The thing which I'm sort of not liking too much at the moment is the seating position between the tank and the tail. It's quite tight. There's certainly no room for me to move with my fat bottom and the seat doesn't have a great deal of padding and I'm sort of almost sat off the end of it I can feel the end of the seat towards the back of the bum so I could do with a bit more seat please Azuki I love the sound, I love the sound of it I think with an exhaust on it they do a nice little Yoshi for this I've got a mate who's got one of these and he's got the Yoshi on it and it sounds lovely. So even with the standard pipe, what they've tried to do is they've made the sound a bit more of an induction roar. And uh, yeah, that, that really works. Steering's really light. They've, they've done a lot of work with the handling on this and it really is a fine handling little bike. KYB forks, adjustable for preload and I think there's also some compression a rebound adjustment on them as well they're not you know for a bike for 7600 the suspension is actually pretty reasonable whoa see what i mean she's a little screamer bit of feel on the front brake when you go for it. It's rewarding to ride. Yeah, it's nice, it's rewarding. There's quite a lot of feedback from it. Oh, there's only one road to, to properly test the suspension and that's this road. This is the only way to properly test the handling of a bike. And this is it. Brakes. That front brake. 
lake is lovely. Steering quite precise. Lift front wheel lift there over the crest. Oh, you can have plenty of fun on this. Let's just have a quick little stop and a quick walk around the bike. I like the red. I do like the red. There's three colours. There's a black, there's the usual Suzuki blue, and there's this red. I actually quite like the red. It's good looking. As I can say, I think it is slightly better looking than its big brother. It's obviously very similar. I like what they've done with the shrouds coming right down around the radiator and this whole arrangement here with the fins. It's got the S21 tyres as well. Is that the S21s? Yeah, they're good tyres. That is a good tyre. Let's have a look under the seat. Don't worry, we will see how many sausage and egg meals. Oh my god. There's the manual and everything and the toolkit. You could get a whole a whole family's worth of sausage and egg muffins in there. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. You can have fun on this. This is a fun bike. And what do you need for a fun bike? You need something with enough guts to keep you entertained. That certainly has it. It's got a handle. This, the handling on this is really nice. Okay, the suspension is a bit budget. It does bounce around a little bit when you really push it on, but it's fine, you know. What more do you want for £7,700? This could be your first big bike if you like. Pass your test. This is not A2 compliant, you can't use this on an A2. But pass your test. You want to get something a bit bigger. Well, I think this is the perfect size for that. I've ridden bikes with full Brembo setup, which, which don't break as nice as this. It's, it's incredible to say a Suzuki with good brakes. Those those words don't normally go together. With this, they've absolutely nailed it. It's got the Nissan front calipers, but they, they the feel from them, the feel and power, it's up there with the best I've tried, to be honest. Okay, if you're gonna go on track, they may fade quite quickly. You've not, you know, you've not got even, you've not even got braided lines. This has just got your normal, rubber lines and they're still incredibly good you've got to leave it in the boiling point there's not huge amounts of torque below 5000 revs i mean it is a straight four and it's only a 750 so you're not going to find v-twin torque levels down there but leave it leave it above five grand leave it boiling work the gearbox and what a great, fun little bike it can be. For an entry level sub 8k bike, you can have a lot, a lot of fun on this. I think there's enough excitement with this bike to keep you entertained for a good couple of years of ownership and for a road bike to be honest you don't really need anything more than this so there we go that is the uh, the back lane test I think we've proved that this thing is a great handy little bike where you can go and have amazing fun on the back roads but what's it like in town to say the seat is a little bit hard my body is starting to hurt a little bit already but it's really easy to ride you've got it's a very light clutch um, gearboxes is silky smooth all Suzuki gearboxes are gorgeous I don't know how they do it over these bumps if you go on a bumpy bit of road you can that's when you start to realize the suspension it's perhaps a little bit hard they've tuned it for performance I think if I'm going up down the really bumpy bit of the road it's actually quite hard 
But to be honest, this sort of bike, I'd rather have it sporty. I'd rather have it handling. I'd rather have fun on it and just put up with a slightly bouncy ride over bumps. It's, it's not too bad. And you have got adjustable preload and stuff, so you can play with the twiddlies if you so wish. Probably won't make it any better, but you, you'll feel better knowing you can twiddle with it. So there we go. The GSS X750. It is a great little motorcycle. If you're looking for a middleweight naked bike, you've got what well, you got MT09, this, the CB650, um, MT07. Well, that, that's that's sort of a bit below this, I would say. MT07 is a great bike. But I think this, this is a bit quicker. This is a bit more of a, of a grown up bike than the MT07. What else is there? What other competitors are there to this? There's not many. It's between, it's really, it's between this and the MT09. It's a budget motorcycle, but for a budget motorcycle, it's incredibly good. I would recommend a test ride immediately. Mummy, why is there a man sat there with a crash helmet on? <laughs>